All right, we're playing Life is Strange again, guys. Finish episode one. If you haven't seen my playthrough of that, I suggest you go watch that. Um, I got episode three here, but we're playing for episode two. So yeah, there's probably a cutscene, so I'm a sharp now. And let's go. Sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking. Boom, ba ba boom, ba boom. Squeaky chair. Mm. Still not sure how I want to do this. If I want to do the haul, just play it straight through. That's gonna take. Like, oh. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. That got away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! Pieces what the fuck? Language. But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Ooh. So that was a recap of episode one. And now I think we're gonna start episode two. Hopefully my voice is better now, cause yeah, turned up my mic and I move things around a bit. So it's easier for me. Schnoes, I don't want to wake up yet. Dun, 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 dun. Square Enix. Again, I'm sorry, YouTube and creators of this music and Square Enix. Don't sue me. Give me copyright strikes or shit like that. That's no. That's not good for you. That's not good for me. Just come and upset my life. Wake up, bitch! Oh. Life is Strange, episode 2. Out of time. Okay, maybe I'm a bit too loud now. I see my volume bars going into the red. Oh, I can get up now? Alright, let's get up. All the music in this game is depressing as fuck. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Time to shower, yo nasty ass. Um, clothes. Huh? Oh, shower supplies. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. I got texts. Oh no, I didn't. Oh wait, yeah, I do. I got text. I got two from Chloe. Um, she don't like emojis. Don't know why. Emoji freak. Oh, sorry. You might want to read that. Um, um, Don't be late. I'm on my way. You're evil. 40 minutes so less. Victoria, thanks. Okay, thanks, but we're not friends. Okay. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. 
like no time has passed. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll take a chest to make the Ow! That's immense. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna let you get hit this time. Can't be wasting my uh, my rewind power on, on that dumb shit. Hey, look, it's this girl. It's Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max. Do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this no. morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Should have just said no. It's my book. Let's use the shower. Splash some water in your face. Mmm, mmm. Splash some water on your face. Brush in your teeth. Sorry. I'm weird. No, I'm not. You're crazy. What's up, Kate? Oh, it's Victoria. School. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She's a bitch. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. No, nasty said biatch. <laughs> Did you say bitch? Well, you know, keeping it. I don't even know what rating this game is. I'm gonna say like, no, uh, I don't know. Are you got that? You put the, you put your same dirty clothes on. What? I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. You need another shower. Splash some water in your face. Hello, water. Sorry, I forgot. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. You raise that shit. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Oh, wait. Oh, this person's in the shower, right? She said water. Okay, anyway. Let us leave. Lettuce leaves. If you understand the reference, then, then, you're, then you're amazing. If you don't, then well, you don't understand the reference. Victoria's room. Where's my room? No. No. Yes. I'm a water the plant this time. Ugh. Oh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? I didn't. After Look. I find Kate's book. Bitch. Fuck with that. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. 
Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Oh, it's Nathan Prescott. Oh, well. I'm gonna just get Chloe to run him over. What was I doing? Getting dressed. Clothes, glorious clothes. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Aren't you just hey, you wear every day? had the same exact suit for every day of the week. Yeah. And he couldn't even rewind time. Same thing you wear every day. Keep calm and carry on. Okay. Um, I need to find Kate's book. Of course she just spilled oh. soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her problems. All right, here go. Can I go faster? Can I go faster? Oh. Oh, yeah. Wait. What are you doing? Stop the rewind. Be gone, foul soft There we go. Aha, you sneaky book. I don't understand how you knocked it over in the first place, to be honest. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. How clumsy do you have to be? As if I have to worry about being late anymore. Yeah, you do. I do have all the time in the world. No, now. you don't. Can I only go... Oops, wrong button. Need to go give the book back to Kate. Itch in my eye. Private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Nigga, I know where you oh, live. Shit. Now I'm getting anonymous um, threats? It never ends. Was I going to? Kate. This has to be from Nathan. But Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, man. Well, go on, Kate. Hey, then. Even though I saw you like five minutes ago. Why are you upset? You're a slob. Anyway. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate. I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of a Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Um... Did you party with them? Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. Damn. And I have no memory of it. You were roofied. It doesn't sound Actually, like no, Rufy puts you to I sleep. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. What makes you slutty? You have to tell me more than that. Um. What happened at the party? Did you drink? Oh, no. I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug Probably. you? Probably. I remember... I remember getting sick, and just... That bitch, Nathan. Go on. Fuck him. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take uh, me to Ah, you hospital. see? Nathan fucking Nathan Prescott. Prescott. Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. I'm not. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. Yeah, you got and, drugged. And. 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 That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean uh, self. see that bitch. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken you down? You can't. I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. 
Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Videos on the internet never go away, unfortunately for you. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Can I go through it? Maybe. Ah, uh, see, I feel like I'm gonna fall off my chair. I can't go through your bag, no? So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Yeah, all right. Absolutely, Kate, anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt he me. He hurt you. Is Nathan Prescott. Should I go to the police? Yeah, no, hold on. Hmm. Go to the police with no evidence and she gets in trouble. If I say look for proof, then she gonna be pissed at me. So, what to do, what to do? Hmm, see now, if this was infamous, I would have fully just picked like look for proof. Cause games like that, I like the evil route. But in this, I'm trying to like get the best possible outcome. So I'm gonna just be, uh, yeah, let's be nice. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Like, totally. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously oh, no. now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? You gonna get shot in the face. The, the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us. That's all. Nathan gonna roll up in the room and distract, kill everyone. Some serious bad karma. He'll get it. And now she's depressed again. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. I don't give a fuck. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Can I do anything else in here? I can look at stuff. I can't touch anything. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. <sighs> she got a Bible. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Um, I can't open any, uh, I'm sorry. I can't interact. Oh, I can take a photo. Take a photo with the bunny. Watch, watch, watch. I took a photo with the bunny, yeah? And now I was gonna say, this action will have consequences. And then because I took a photo with the bunny, it's gonna like, do some bullshit. The flash is gonna imprint into the bunny's, in, into the bunny's fur. Then she gotta open the blinds. The imprint of the flash is gonna like have the bunny spontaneously combust. Then I'm gonna die. Well, no, I'm not gonna die. The bunny's gonna die. What do you want, Chloe? Emoji hater, Brooke. Well, go on, Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No. No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Is that it? Okay. Onwards to the, the cafe. To meet Chloe.
Ba ba da ba. Hey, look, it's Warren. I saw you, you little sneaky bastard. Oh shit! Loud again. Sorry. I'm sorry, viewers. Let's talk to Taylor Swift. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Bitch, fuck off then. Well, sorry to exist, Taylor. On that we agree. Do you mind? Leaving? Thanks. I you know what? No, fuck you. Taylor, conversation over. Hi, Taylor. Hi, take. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Victoria. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy, too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Bossy best friends? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. Right. We've had our talk. Alright. Now I've got some nice info. See what I can do with that info. Hi, Taylor. Oh, go on, Taylor. Hi. About your mom. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. This action will have consequences. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch! Alright. Oh, shit. Alright, fuck it. Here's Nathan's father. Here's a message to let you know that any attempts to slander and blackmail my son will met with lawyers and legal ramifications. You are not the first student to try... No, you're not the first black horse student to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this your final polite warning. Oh shit, his dad's gonna, gonna run up with a strap. But there's Warren, and I'm gonna walk past him, and he's gonna start talking to me, and I'm right at 22 minutes. So I'm gonna stop here, and see you guys again later.